Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Jonathan Pierce, JSP versus Pat Sabatini. Jonathan Pierce, 14 and 6, two fight losing streak. He's 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Minus 135 favorite against Pat Sabatini, 32 years old, 6 foot tall with a 71 inch reach. Fighting Pat Sabatini, who's 18 and 5. He's 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 2 in his last three. He's had a bit of a, a unlucky streak, to be honest, because like he fights Damon Jackson on Damon Jackson uh, uh, a little bit after his brother had passed away. So it was it was a very, very emotional fight for Damon Jackson, who, who gets the win. I believe he catches him with a knee. Or no, I think he catches him with a front kick. Something like that. And then he comes back and destroys Lucas Almeida, which was, yeah. Uh, and then he beat and loses to Diego Lopez 10 months ago, just in this storm of Diego Lopez. Plus 110, even, 33 years old, 5'8", the 70-inch reach. What is that? 2, 3, 4-inch height advantage for JSP with a 1-inch reach. The problem with this, in, in my honest opinion, is J, uh, JSP, like I said, he's 3-2 and two in his last five fights. But again, you know, this is a great matchup for two guys. Like 1-2 and two for Pat Sabatini in his last three. 1-2 and two in his last three for Jonathan Pierce on a two-fight losing streak as well. You know, look who he's fought. I mean, he's fought Christian Rodriguez, Mark Montamericani, who's just not good, overrated. Darren Elkins, he destroyed. It didn't, like, finish, but he beat the crap out of him. And then lost to Joannis and Brito. He was having success, not winning, but having success. And then he was ninja choked. And then he fought uh, David Onama. And Onama just has some big, big power. His striking's very good. And if you can keep Jonathan Pierce at bay, at the distance and at bay, you're going to win the fight. The fun thing about this matchup is they're not going to do that. Neither one of them is a great striker. I would actually say Pierce is a better striker, um, just because I don't think Pat Sabatini is a great striker. But they're both really, really good wrestlers. Sabatini is better with his like jujitsu. He's okay with pulling guard, and that does worry me a little bit because Pat Sabatini might accept too many positions because he he's going to look for submissions, all these things. And I just think Jonathan Pierce is going to be able to outlast. Pat Sabatini without getting you know submitted I do think there will be urgency as the fight goes on for Pat Sabatini but again I just think the ability and the um the uh, uh, uh the willingness to go to the ground for Pat Sabatini and him uh him uh in, in uh, engaging in the wrestling with Jonathan Pierce I just think Pierce is going to be able to stifle that or just get some good control with a little bit of ground and pound as the three rounds go on. Now, submission-wise, if if Sabatini can get on top, Sabatini's going to do work. I, I, I really think that. Even if it's just control, he's going to be looking for submissions, all these things. But I also think if he's not able to get Pierce down himself, he'll pull guard. He'll go down himself with Pierce on top of him. So I like Jonathan Pierce to win this. I would like to see Pat Sabatini win, but I don't think either one of these guys can really lose again. As always, 